Hi everybody, this is Teresa from Astro Studio. I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick flip through of a Christmas journal. The cover is made of strips of linen from unfinished projects, like um, embroidery projects from 1920s up to the 1950s, different shades of creams and browns, um, some vintage lace, three signatures, and 88 pages. So I'll go ahead and flip through this and make sure I've got this positioned right. All right, sorry it's so shaky. All right, here we go, just a quick flip through. It is going to be on Etsy at seven o'clock tonight. So there's a pocket on the um, front inside that uh, we've got a little lace pocket here and then a deeper pocket here and a tag that you can write on. First signature, you've got a vintage flash card, if you will, that says mug on it, kind of like for hot chocolate for Christmas, and then a vintage postcard, and it is dated 1910, um, which is kind of cool. So that's a little piece of vintage ephemera you get there. I'll tuck that in. So you'll see in my journals, there is a lot of space to write, to glue things, to create lists, um, whatever you'd like to do. A little hand stamping here, children's book pages, some more stamping here. Um, I like to use old planner sheets. This is from one of my mom's appointment books from the 1990s. A little poinsettia stamped on there. You've got some Edith Holden um, images from a, one of her books that um, I was lucky enough to find at a thrift shop. And the background is a piece of old um, Nutcracker Suite music sh sheets. So I've jazzed that up there. A nice thick cardstock here. I use vintage wrapping paper on some of the edges and it just adds a little color. Get a little Tim Holtz paper here illustrations from um, a Christmas book. They're really sweet. Got uh, old quilt book pages that I've stitched on a tea dyed paper, little tabs, another planner sheet. Uh, there are really cool pictures in this 1950s yearbook page, uh, school dance, and uh, I just think it's really sweet. It looks like a driver's ed class here, and then an image from a old Christmas book, Christmas tree ornaments, just a, an example of the price of some of the ornaments back then. Look at the other side of this, planner sheets, and you've got a um, bias tape wrapper that I've decoupaged, Mod Podge to make it last longer, a little tuck spot and a repurposed Christmas card that I've sewn on children's writing paper. So you get a nice big journaling card there. And a little flip, a little fabric ruffle. We have one of these um, old cards. It says, ladies, the secret ingredient in fruitcake is love. The other 99% is inedible. And uh, you can use that to journal. You got a little uh, belly band right here. book page and then you've got a bingo card that's been I will just call it mixed media and um, I've made it into a tuck spot and you have a children's book page on a tag that you can write on on the back side second signature got a little flip out here it says joyful Christmas wishes hand stamped here and it's a nice craft uh, cardstock craft to um, sturdy that you can tuck things in. Got a little flip out here with some pictures of San vintage Santa. Uh, this is an old picture. You can barely see the Christmas tree right here and it looks like he got clothes for Christmas. <laughs> Might be why he looks so unhappy. And some long tags that you can slide down in here. And then you can also slide something in back of this piece of old plaid wool. Got some cross stitch material here that uh, you can also tuck something here and adhere something on that. Deck the halls, Raggedy Ann book pages, Christmas book. Uh, you've got a 1931 old letter here. 
and you can read parts of it or I can read parts of it others is really difficult but made a little notepad out of one of them and then this one just has this Mod Podge on a 20 question card and it's kind of cool because you can look at the little dots where the old um, inkwell pens uh, were used so lots of space to write create lists adhere photos sketch draw away in a manger music sheet you've got a pocket made out of um, vintage tablecloth a cute little postcard a little christmas sentiment and a little notepad you've got uh, tim holt's little jazzed up page here with a little card I made to journal on. Other side you've got another card too. Bingo card with a pocket on the back. You can do whatever you'd like with that. More ledger paper. Vintage. Well, it's not vintage. <laughs> the Santa looks vintage. I glued him on. This is just a time card and just a little postcard you can do what you'd like with a little stamping there and you've got a nice um, fabric pocket I've made with some goodies tucked in there some more stamping uh, how to make a wassail and last signature you've got some vintage gift tags that I've stitched on some stamping from an ideals magazine it's a Christmas Eve poem and you've got a little fabric flip here. Uh, children's Letters to Santa from a book that I thrifted. Some of them are really entertaining. And some Jan Brett book pages that I've created pockets and large journaling cards tucked into there. You've got um, a poinsettia um, plant card with, I think there's four sheets of long ledger that I've clipped. So that's a nice little notebook, if you will. Then another tuck spot here, some plaid paper, vintage uh, Christmas wrapping, and it's a stencil all around. It says ho, ho, ho. Some, um, I wouldn't call them vintage, but there's some older um, sticker gift tag things that you can uh, decorate things with if you wish. Some gingerbread fabric stitched on. Another one of those large journal cards and a Jan Brett little tuck that I made out of a book page. an old uh, vintage invitation I think it's 70s I'm looking for the date I don't see one but um, I believe it's from the 70s it's just a holiday invitation card and these are vintage fabrics that I stitched together in a patchwork look and it makes a nice little pocket to the side of that uh, ideals thing it says December 25th and you've got a nice pocket right here so once again it's 88 pages three signatures it's 11 and a half by seven inches wide and it will be available in my Etsy shop tonight August 30th at seven o'clock and you can double tie that if you'd like but I just kind of like to drape it like you have to kind of fiddle to see how you like it and there you go all right. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Good night.